Welcome to your 21st basics of JavaScript video in which we're going to take a look at bitwise operators in JavaScript. It's basically similar to other languages only, nothing special here. So what we're going to do is uh, start off with some bitwise operators which are and or not and zor. That's basically something you would kind of see in uh, are not really in regular programming also bitwise is not really used it's, it's used for bit masking sometimes but that's not really your concern for now it's not really used a lot in regular web development right so what bitwise operators do is basically they would convert whatever you have into binary and do this these operations bit by bit right so what happens is that if I take let num1 is uh, let's say 5 or let's say 6 and let's say num2 is uh, let's say 3 right and I console log num1 and num2 notice a single and is here it's not a double and otherwise it would be a logical and right and it's save you see we get 2 here now what the hell did just did happen it seems like you have divided them well, no, not really. What happened is that JavaScript converted the 6 to binary, which is uh, which is 4 plus 2, which is 4, 2, and this is your 6 in binary, and 3 in binary is 2 plus 1, which is 2 plus 1. There you go, right? So now, when you did num1 and num2, what happened is basically what you did essentially is you actually did an and of these digits these individual digits right so what you did was uh, 0 and 1 which is 0 1 and 1 which is 1 and uh, 1 and 0 which is again 0 so you get 0 1 0 which is 2 right so that makes sense now what about or what if i do a single or you see 0 and uh, 0 or 1 is 1 1 or 1 is 1, 1 or 1, 1 or 0 is also 1, right? So we get 7, right? Which makes sense because 1, 1, 1 binary is 7 in decimal. What about ZOR? Well, ZOR, if you don't know about what ZOR is, ZOR is basically exclusive OR. It, it is 0 when both the inputs are 1. Well, all the inputs are 1, rather, I should say. And it's 1 in just like uh, OR, right? So 0 or 1 is 1, zero, 1 ZOR 1 is 0 actually, right? And 1 ZOR 0 is also 1. So 1 0 1 is uh, 1 plus 4 which is 5, right? So everything seems working. Now NOT basically is not really an operator you can do in uh, between two numbers but rather it's an operator you can do something like this, it's safe. You're gonna see we get negative seven and negative four. Why is that? Well, if you take a look, six is basically well we already do have that information with us. So negative naught, what it does is basically and actually JavaScript stores numbers like this, right? Not just three bits. Right? All these zero stuff like that. I'm not really counting it, but these also do have a fixed length. So it converts, it inverts all the bits. Right, so all these bits become one, 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 stuff like that, and then zero, zero, these two, and then one, right? And this also becomes stuff like that, and one, zero, zero, stuff like that, right? So this is basically another decimal. This is basically two's complement representation of JavaScript in numbers, which is reused to represent negative numbers. So essentially, you can learn about them if you want to. I'm not really going to cover that in detail right now but uh, when you double negotiate it you can verify that you get your number back you see we get six back so that's what essentially it's doing right it's flipping all the bits so that's basically yeah that's all you need to know about bitwise operators in javascript so i'll see you then in the next video